Rene joins us live now to share more. Rene, tell us more about what you saw on the ground. Your video showed people queuing up. Was there already a line before the shops opened? Yeah, so I was actually in the Ang Mokyo area this morning. I visited three businesses, uh, Pine Garden Bakery, uh, Trust Hair Salon, as well as Pet Lover Centre. So we got to Pine Garden Bakery as early as 8.30 a.m. And even at that early hour, there were quite a few customers already shopping for their baked goods like breads and cakes. And well, the queue you saw in the video was at lunchtime, actually, uh, mostly outside the hair salons. So I think a lot of the customers were men who were deprived of haircuts during this mm. circuit breaker period <laughs> as well. And uh, Pet Lover Centre, they had no queue when we visited, uh, surprisingly, but then uh, their spokesperson told us that most of the stores had queues on site when they opened at 10 a.m. So, and for the reopening, uh, these shops, they also put in place the necessary uh, safety precautions before they could reopen. So, for example, we had to check in with the safe entry system at Pet Lover Center as well as the hair salon. And there was also uh, temperature taking, hand sanitizers were provided to customers, things like this. And um, generally, we also observe uh, people observing this one meter safe distancing rule, whether they are queuing outside for, to buy their purchases or whether they are inside the salon cutting their hair. Uh, yeah, and of course, everyone has to wear masks now. Mm. Mm. Yeah. What, Renee, what were some of the reactions to this easing of the tightened measures um, from both business owners and customers? I mean, judging by the queues, both sides seem to be uh, really anticipating the reopening of some of these businesses today. Mm. Yeah, I think for customers, they are mostly quite relieved and happy that, you know, the, they can finally get their hair cut after looking quite unkempt for a few weeks, especially mm -hmm. the guys, and or, you know, buy their favourite cakes. Uh, well, I spoke to one lady who was actually buying her belated Mother's Day cake, and there was one uh, couple who had actually travelled all the way from Haogang to Pine Garden in Ang Mukio because, you know, the, the, the wife felt quite deprived of a cake. Mm -hmm. And uh, one customer at Pet Love he was he was also quite desperate uh, to buy medication for his dog because his dog had a ear infection. Yeah, so I think for them, I think they're mostly quite relieved that they can actually get their hands on what they need once again. Mm -hmm. And um, for the business owners, I think maybe it was quite stressful for them, more stressful because they had to comply with the safety regulations before they could reopen. So um, for Pine Garden, the, the managing director, he described it as a nightmare because they actually had to prep all the products and the cakes for reopening within a single day because they had stopped production before and mm. and they have also had to ramp up their delivery because they have had a surge in new orders as well but I guess um, you know even though you, they have extra maybe operating costs even like say for if they hire like a disinfecting service or they have to provide stuff like hand sanitizers to customers I think for them it's also an opportunity to slowly resume uh, you know like the regular programming and continue serving their customers as well. Right. Mm. Now, Renee, as uh, you mentioned uh, earlier on as well, and you, you were describing it, is it really then back to business uh, for the shop owners uh, that you spoke to? Because I think in your video, uh, there was this part where uh, the trust salon, uh, he mentioned about having a one-time kind of a cutting kit as well as aprons. Mm. Yeah, so I think for, you know, for F&B businesses like Pine Garden, I think they've managed to tie it through pretty well. Um, you know, even when they stopped selling cakes, uh, the managing director told me that they managed to transition to selling other products like turnip cake, glutinous rice, things that people can eat for breakfast because people will still need to eat things. And then mm -hmm. now that they can start selling cakes again, I think business will continue to pick up even more for them. Um, I think pet lovers also probably they will do fine as well because I mean they are like the animal equivalent of our NTUC supermarkets mm. so you know in, um, for pet owners if they really need to buy like pet food or other, mm. s other stuff like medication for their pets they will still need to shop in store or like opt for an online delivery but I think like what you mentioned for uh, businesses like hair salons, uh, maybe it might not be as back to business 
for them. It might not be as simple because uh, their services are still limited to, say, providing haircuts, like cut, yeah. wash and blow. And so because customers can't spend too long in the store, he said customers are maximum like one hour in the store. So, mm. you know, so obviously they can't do like other more high-end services like hair treatment or dye their hair. So I think maybe they might face greater challenges in uh, paying off their rental or paying the salaries of their staff. But I mean, I think, um, you know, resuming business uh, is still better than nothing. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, thank you so much for your time, Renee. That was our colleague, multimedia journalist Renee Poe, speaking about the first day of the resumption of some businesses.